How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Randomizer. In the last episode, we got whopped by that Cyndaquil, and I'm still kind of pissed about it. So I came back to the fifth floor, and you're wondering probably who this big lug is. Well, it's Monstro if we see one secret power. Oh, well, I'll... Are you gonna be alright, Monstro? Yeah, we recruited a Whale Lord, uh, which I had not... Okay, I was like, which I had not seen, uh, yet, so that that's fun. Uh, Solar Beam, wow, I wonder if, uh, if we can actually give any of that to, uh, to Whale Lord. I don't think Whale Lord can learn, like, Giga Drain or, or anything like that, but... Maybe nat- nope, so far- oh, maybe can learn Natural Gift? I believe that's just, uh, uses any move, right? Or no, uh, kind of bury the- his holding, if any. Do I have any berries? You know what? We can use this on Monstro. Monstro doesn't have a lot of good, a lot of great moves. Uh, Amnesia, but uh, you know what? Forget it. We're not. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We're not gonna do a bunch of like move tutoring stuff like that because we are getting close to the end of Far Ant Plains, everybody. It's not too far off. And you know, having Monstro is pretty scary for uh, the people we're up against. I have to say, I, I would imagine they must be pretty terrified. All right, deal with it, Edith. De okay, be careful, Edith. That thing is a. Oh no, not this again. Not this again. Oh, why does this keep happening? Why, like, I got to this floor with not a single problem. Not a single problem at all. Come on, Edith. Take out the Feebas. Holy crap, he has, like, that must be the Quintin this time around. Because that thing just had so, so freaking... Nope, nope, you know what? Not worth the gummy. Not worth the gummy. Uh, out of my way. Edith. You know what? I'm not gonna get in. Okay, good job, Edith. We're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna worry about that. Not gonna worry about gummies. If I see stairs, we're just running for it. Uh, except for... Good job, Monstro. That didn't do anything, though. Having Tickle is going to be... You have Brave Bird? Would you relax? Holy crap. Having something like Tickle is going to be very... Oh, you are not the Quintin this time, are you? Why do you- why are there some Pokemon that just do a stupid amount of- or have a stupid amount of health? X-Scissor. Definitely nobody can learn that. I can assure you of that one. Is this a Magmarize- a Wonder Chest, okay. So is that a mag? it looks like something that would be a Magmarizer or something similar. But anyway, let's see what Water Gun does. Okay, funny when Whale Lord has- doesn't have a- doesn't have a water type move, but I do. Recruiting Tyranitar might be- oh my gosh, there's a lot of Pokemon in here. Alright, start sh this is- I can't get him because he's too far away. Alright. Edith, you better help me here. This is gonna be- this is gonna cause some problems. We're dealing with a lot of crap right now. Alright. Edith, uh, you got this right, is I can cut corners and so I can- so I can attack with Water Gun from the- From the corner! Alright, here we go. I'm not- I'm not gonna die this time. We're gonna get to the end of Far Ant Plains. Just get over here. Alright. Now I can shoot you with Water Gun from the corner and Edith, you can- Yeah! Look at our teamwork right there. Wow. What the- what is this? What are you doing? Does he not want to- he doesn't- he, he saw what happened to his friend and he was like, I do not want a piece of that. Alright, uh, maybe it was a bad idea to put Whale Lord up there, but let's see, maybe Whale Lord will do his- Yeah, vacuum wave and miss. Good thing though that we- well, actually we almost have as much health as Whale Lord, so that's kind of interesting and- Wow, there's a lot of- wait, frustration's a really good move early on, I believe. Uh, if I'm remembering that right, and Whale Lord doesn't have, like, any moves right now. So that might be really good, uh... Because, to my understanding, uh, if the user's IQ is low. Well, I haven't given, like, any IQ... Well, Monstro's gonna have, like, no IQ, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of... The embargo's gonna stop moves, uh, can't use items, but... Rarely will bosses or anything like that use an item, it seems to be pretty rare. Frustration should actually do a fair amount of damage. Joy Seed, let's find out. Go ahead and do it. Do it to it, Monstro! Use Frustration! Hey, alright, 45 solid damage, that's pretty good. I will take that. Uh, having... Stop trying to take my mask off! I want my mask! It lets me get friends! I like having them, because then it's funny. Uh, boost experience points. That is actually pretty good, too. Uh, I don't know if I want that right now. But, uh, you know what? We are making some serious progress here in Far Ant Plains, at least I hope so. Uh, I get- I get nervous when I say that because it could be the very, very opposite about that. And I saw the stairs in that one, but here we are, guys. We've made it to Amp Clearing. And Mo I like that Monstro's with her. That's really funny. She's like, I'll be your bodyguard, guys. Don't worry about it. Erk. Uh, Edith, what an intimidating place. Oh, yeah, I bet. Wah! So intimidating. You can't even see us because Monstro's taking up like the whole screen. Seems like lightning can strike here anytime. 
Oh, this might be a good Pokemon to have as our as our third to bring with us, because I got like waterfall and a bunch of good TMs and storage. Over there. Ah, looks like a water float to me, don't you think so, Monstro? I'm a whale. Our, oh, wah. How are you a floating whale? Let me just say that. You're just a whale floating as if there's water. This is our territory. There's someone here. Let's hide, Jibo. You're not doing a... <laughs> Uh, is there a giant whale over there? You guys trying to hide? I see a whale. Well, it's like the biggest Pokemon there is. All right, let's take them out. Yeah, good job, monster. I think you gave away our position. This is not good. We'll surely be defeated if we stay here. Yeah, we, we were hiding. D didn't you see our perfect hiding spot with a whale? My name is Manectric. I am the leader of those Electrics. Funny story, uh, the, I believe in Time and Darkness, you're dealing with Luxray and some Luxios. Which would have been interesting for Gobo, but, uh, yeah, it's time for us to fight- Oh, god. Oh, wait, that- that could be good. Uh, water move- fire- uh, fire types weaken, though. We don't really want that because of Edith. Uh, Sandy won't be good. Sea Trap won't be good. Slow would be good. Uh, Mysterious Powder prevented its use. Okay. Oh, weird. This is- we are gonna die a horrible, painful death if they all got this. All right, Edith. Uh, I'm gonna go for rollout, see what happens. Oh, life lesson, just don't ever use rollout because we're gonna miss no matter freaking what. Uh, oh man, them having spike cannon is kind of the worst thing ever. Uh, I'm shielding you, monstro. Worry not, friend. Uh, can you relax, please? I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely die. We are definitely not surviving this, let me tell you right now. And I believe you have to beat everybody. That did a lot. Okay, we're gonna be using... Water Gun, because of how much it does, you really, Edith, I really need you using Fire Blast on Manectric up there. I'm burning to death. Once again. Alright, Manectric, I can't even tell which direction I'm facing. You're gonna die, Monstro. Oh, please don't die, Monstro. Alright, can I please have a turn? Can't, why, why does it keep going? That's stupid. If Rollout misses, it misses. But, like, Spike Cannon, this is, like, the worst move to have. It, like... Can you stop? I'm already burning to death, as stated a second ago. We need to take out Manectric. Quickly, Edith. Thank you, Edith. Thank you. Wow. Rain really has that crazy of an effect? That's wild. All right, I really need to, uh, I'm gonna take, oh crap, he's using Skull Bash. Uh, okay, I cannot die. I, I cannot be taking all these hits for you right now, Monstro. I need you to have some health, uh, right now. Actually, Citrus Berry's gonna do it because he has, like, no health. So here we go, Monstro. Do something cool! Uh, as I'm burning to death over here. Yeah, come on, Edith. Keep it, keep it. Keep it, uh, nice. Good job, Monstro, good job. Come on, Edith, I believe in you, don't- Oh, okay, okay, all right. Nice! Wait, effect spores? Okay, Edith, whatever. We're going for Orin Berry right now. I'm gonna heal you guys. Keep it going, Edith, keep it rolling. Do something awesome. Do something awesome over here. Gunk shot, oh, on the electric, ah, uh, why? Well, I guess you could, okay, all right. Yeah, and you- why are you tickling him? Why are you tickling him? Between Edith kissing everybody and now Monstro tickles everybody. One of the- I'm really glad one of those Electrics is just not participating. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god right now, guys. Oh, why, why are you using Amnesia? Can you- can you just attack, please? Can you- can you please? Okay, uh, uh, I think we're okay right now. I'm gonna go, uh, diagonally because- okay, never mind. Uh, da -da. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, all right. Now we're burn. Now, okay, join the burning to death crew, Monstro. Oh my God, guys, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and it's because of Monstro the freaking whale. Well, it's actually because I was shielding hits for Monstro the freaking whale. Uh, that's his title now, by the way. It's not just Monstro. Oh my God, we did it with Monstro. Yeah, look at that whale. Oh yeah. You dare? Should Monstro be our like third in this game? That would be awesome. I kind of want him to be because he's he's huge and it's so funny. It's like hide. Hey, I'm monstro and I'm giant. We honestly didn't come here to make claims on your territory. Oh, I love having monstro. I need some fan art of the three of them. That's amazing. Oh man. Anyway, we almost just died in that cutscene. Stop this instant. Their words are sincere. They trespass, but they do not intend to make claims on your territory. Yeah, you dummies. Dust noir. You. Who are you? Uh, literally just said, Manectric. You have every right to be angry, especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility toward that, uh, trespass here is unnatural. Is natural. Not unnatural. 
Uh, this place is your haven, a place where you find solace. I understand that completely. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer the sincerest apology. They entered here on- why do I always get- like, have to burp when I'm recording an episode? I don't even have something that causes burpiness. Please believe me, Minectric. Hmm. Seem to know much about us, Dust Noir. You make the claim that they mean no harm. <laughs> well, Lord. So be it. I choose to believe your words, Dust Noir. I will allow you some time. I expect you to be gone by our return. All right, we actually did really well. Sucks to see how much- I didn't expect the rain to do that much on like a powered up fire blast. It re it knocked it down like over a hundred sometimes. Woo. Thank you, Dust Noir, sir. You saved us. And Whale Lord, who are they? A group of Manectric and Electric. They're, they are a nomadic tribe that always stays on the move. They roam in constant search of places that are hospitable to them. And Ant Plains is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. They find it to their liking, so they dwell in Ant Plains this time of year. Didn't you just say something about this time of year? And I understand that they suffer terrible injuries this time of year. And since Manectric's group has been very sensitive about trespassers this time of year. I'm just kidding. Just making a joke. Uh, strike first, for fear of being stricken. We beat all of them. There, that became a law among the Nectrix group. And what's why they wanted to fight us? Because they're tribal, and they hate when we trespass. Thought I saw the water float over there. <laughs> I kind of love having Whale Lord. It's here, this is it. Dust Noir, sir, this is... Is this... There's no mistaking it, without a doubt, this is a water float. Looks kind of like a necklace. I think you'd look good in it, Monstro. You want to try and put this necklace on? I don't get it, though. How did this water float end up here? I would imagine that it was put there deliberately. Whoever did this knew that you would eventually get to the spot. The fact that Manectric uh, protects its territory is well known. Someone expected a confrontation between you and Manectric? You were set up. Wasn't that your intention, you sneaking scoundrels? Pardon? It's about time that you came out of hiding and showed yourselves. cha ha so you knew all along. No point in hiding then. Yeah, you wrote cha ha ha in the ransom note. <laughs> Monster's just like, holy crap, who is that? <laughs> oh ho ho! Hehehe! <laughs> oh, ha ha! you guys are the worst! Whoa ho ho! We're going to wait for you to get stopped by Manectric, then we're gonna step in and bop up afterward. You think that you could deal with how we just whomped that Manectric? We didn't even die a single time! Sure, if it was just Team Golden Ball, you bet that we'd rough him up good, but I guess the world- Team Golden Ball, you realize you got a giant whale who could just like, lay on top of you and you would probably die. Oh, dang, scared him off. Edith, you're not quite in the frame. <laughs> Monster's just like ruining all the shots. It's so funny. I'm afraid that's what I need. I need like a, I need fan art of Jibo and Edith trying to take a pleasant picture and then Monster just like in the middle of the frame. Yes, I want to save. We survived and we did a great job and I feel great about that. And I'm getting hungry. <sighs> the troubles of being me, I guess. Uh, thank you, really. You saved us all uh, way back when, and now this. I don't know how we could ever thank you, but really, thank you. <laughs> Not enough. You didn't thank me. Oh, please. It's okay. Just kidding. You guys are welcome. If you want to thank anyone, thank the great Dust Noir. If Dust Noir hadn't been there, we wouldn't be here now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dust Noir, sir. No trouble at all. I'm very happy for you. It's wonderful that your water float has come back to you. Uh, I must say, it is so like the great Dust Noir to be so modest. Is it? Is he modest? Is that what you would say? I saw some darkness come up there, uh, come out up there on the hill. He was like threatening to do some straight up murder, though I did some straight up murder. So I don't know what that says about Jibo and Edith and Monstro, but it's something. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? You know that thing that happens when you go to sleep and you dream, Dust Noir? Ever heard of it? You, I, I know for a fact you can learn a move about eating dreams. You should know. My partner sees or hears events that happen in the past or just about to happen in the future. What? Well, that's, that's the dimensional scream. Cool name you just came up with right now, Dust Noir. Dust Noir, sir, do you really know something about this? In that case, should we ask if Dust Noir knows even more? Nope. I don't trust him and his weird back face. But my own forgotten past. <laughs> he forgot about forg his forgotten past. How meta, Jibo. We're wondering if we could get your advice about something. He's like, no, you can't. <laughs> My back face. Wow, we brought him right here to the beach. I see. So your old friend... So you found your friend unconscious right here. Why did I read that as your old friend? You regain consciousness, though you've lost your memory. You know, typical amnesia stuff. And the memory of being a human before this. Weird memories to have attached. I beg your pardon? Human? Yep, that's me, elephant human. But our friend here seems to be a Pokemon in every obvious way. Yes, that's why we said human before. 
You catch on quick, Dust Noir. You catch on quick. We're sure that something caused my partner's memory loss and caused the transformation from human to Pokemon. Or, you know, it just happens. You know, maybe I'll wake up one day in real life and actually be a small elephant. You are. Said you know your name, at least, and that name would be... You didn't bother to learn my name! You learned, like, everyone else's name. Ah, I see. You're Jibo. Does that name ring a bell? No. It's... It means nothing to me, unfortunately. Uh, what? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dustnar just hide the faintest of smiles? Ha- with, with his back face? He has no mouth! However, I do know about the ability that Jibo possesses. Oh, really? What is it? The ability to see the future or the past by touching something. Gr uh, creepy! Dimensional scream. Indeed. How such an ability is learned, that is unknown. I'm just a special little elephant, so don't hate to manifest his visions. And that is all I know about the extraordinary ability. So Jibo has an ability as special as the dimensional scream. That's right. I just go into dimensions and go... That's what I do. That's what I do all the time. I had to really move away from the mic because I didn't know how bad that was going to clip. I offer you my full cooperation. Oh, you will? Don't trust him. Don't trust a dust nor because a dust nor don't trust me. You guys remember that song? Well, when they don't say dust nor and they say ho. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't this great, Jibo? Yeah, sure. I trust him. He can't. He doesn't have feet. I trust people who don't have feet, so that's good. And people who happen to have entire faces on their back. That is my number one trusting feature. My future wife had better have an entire face tattooed on her back. Could something be the matter? Only then will I marry you. Marry future wife, if you're watching Golden Ball LP right now, you best get a face tattoo on your back or else I'm not going to trust you. I finally found you all. Uh, what's the hurry? You're all out of breath. Doesn't that just happen? The call's been put out. All the apprentices are to report to the guild immediately. And they sent Bidoof to come get us. I will go with you. Hurry, everyone. Very suspicious, Dust Noir. Don't trust you. Don't trust you, buddy. Why is it having me save? It's so, it like saves up in between cutscenes. It's such a weird, such a weird design thing. But anyway, welcome to chapter 11. Grovile, the thief. Oh, oh, come on, hurry. All right, Bidoof, relax. But I guess that's why we, we saved because we're in between chapters. Everyone's here, yup, yup. Uh, where is Monstro? Sorry, everyone, we just got told the call went out and we came running. What's going on? Another Time Gear was stolen. What? Not another one? From where now? Where was the Time Gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh-oh. What's the problem? Did something happen somewhere you don't want to talk about? Uh, way to push the buttons, Bidoof. You're really good at, uh, social cues, aren't you? Yes, it was. This time, the Time Gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? But how? The Time Gear was a... I suspect one of you! Only we knew about that, right? Or, you know, whoever the, the name of the thief was in the episode, or the chapter title. It couldn't be. But remember, the guild talked, could it? What did you do, Loudred? That was uncalled for. Hey, don't trust your fellow members. I don't trust any of you guys. Just kidding. You guys gave me food when I was hungry, so... Of course I trust you guys. Uh, no one break our promise to be a secret. Just, what? I just got a little notification on my phone that something about the water festival and you can catch a Totodile on Pokemon Go? Anyway, got hella distracted right there because I love Totodile. Uh, I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake. I did not know that. Did I not hear uh, quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dust Noir. It's just that I don't trust people with faces on their backs. See, Wigglytuff, this is where we differ. I only trust a... I don't even know where I was going with that. Knocked out Uxie. Uh, I read that as Chatot knocked out Uxie, and I was like, you did? Uxie? Is Uxie alright? Yes, Uxie is fine. He's under the protection of Magnazone squad and my mental powers. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more, according to Uxie's victim statement. That's a thing you do in the Pokemon world? The intruder's identity has been revealed. But fess up, what kind of critter are we de What kind of critter? There's, that, there's already a wanted poster of the thief. See, see for yourselves. Because I'm too lazy to show you. Mmm. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Oof. That's one nasty piece of work. Looks like a grown-up Nigel. Mmm. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who was stealing the time gears. Great. Someone's horn's going off outside. Uh, this wanted poster just arrived. It was issued based on Yuxi's statement. It was arrived as uh, part of an all-points bulletin. Well, that figures. That's why all those Pelipper were flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. 
Yeah, we gotta watch out for those, uh, those thieves and those criminals here. Someone told... We didn't leak the secret, but... You said that a couple times now, Sunflora. Did you leak the secret? Are you the whistleblower? Uh, here's what sticks in my craw. Gross. Don't wanna know about your craw. Urgh. Uh-oh. Hey, Guildmaster? Urgh. 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 Oh no. He's about to go Super Saiyan. He's about to go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. That's a level that... Yumta! Oh. Seem to be pretty confident. Squawk. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I just need to get that out of my system. We'll catch Grovile, we'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of my deceased parents. Chat on if you will. Yes. Also my butt. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we're putting on a full our full focus on capturing Grovile. Do you best... Don't trust any of these guys to actually pull through with it. Actually, I trust Bidoof. We saw how he handled Jirachi... How he handled Jirachi at the end of Bidoof's wish. It was pretty lethal. Wiggly top. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join your guild's pursuit of Grovile. Ah, uh, not allowed, punk. Get, uh, get the F out of my guild before I throw you out this window, which happens to be off the side of a cliff. No, no, it's my honor entirely. Um, didn't ask you. The guild and I, guildmaster and I shall confer. Uh, we will devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you're ready to leave. Okay, everyone, let's outdo ourselves. Yeah, group anime pose! Wow, spooky stuff going on. Everyone just kind of... <laughs> I like how Krogunk was like, All right, I'm going back to the cauldron. See ya, chumps. Start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. Yeah. Pretty scary stuff going on. But anyway, guys. Time to figure out exactly what's going on in the world. Glad we got Monstro on our team. And Badoof, what are you... What are you doing out here? Anyway, guess he's look, trying to talk to people by standing there in the middle of the road. Looks like he's like, Hey, can I talk to you guys? No, Badoof. Oh, he turned right when I said no. He's like, can I please? But anyway, guys, we're going to end off the episode here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time.